Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 16 of our series of session on F12 configuration for voucher type. So we have been seeing the F12 configuration for voucher type of sales and purchases intermittently. So in this session, we will explore yet another option under more configuration and see how we can make use of this option for your organization. Let us go to tally now and explore the option. We are in the sales voucher. So let us explore one more option under F12 configuration. So I'm going to press M. The next option that we will be seeing in today's session is provide cash and trade discount. By default, this option is going to be no and you will have to enable this option. So before we go into understanding the functionality of this, I would like to remind you that under the playlist of Magic of Tally, I have covered three videos which is handling of discount. Now Tally has a versatile way of handling discount for different businesses the way you want to handle discount. That is, you can have a discount with the net amount being reflected in a separate discount column. You can have a predefined discount percentage specified and also Tally gives you the flexibility of changing the discount rate during the invoicing. And the third video that is part 7 I had discussed in detail about the multi-level discount. So it is very important that you see this three videos which covers different type of discount that you would want to use in your organization based on your organization's requirement. So I'm going to upload these three videos on the information section on top. You can click on I icon to see those different discount, how Tally handles them so that you can use the required discount facility that provides for your organization. Now, once you make this option as yes, this option also culminates with another F12 configuration for the master. So quickly, let me show you that how this feature is going to be helpful and what is this cash and trade discount that Tally provides you can make use of. So I'm going to leave this option provide cash trade discount as yes and I'm going to press control A and now let us create one ledger called trade discount or cash discount. So create a new ledger. You don't have to escape and go back to master creation. You can use your secret number three that is go to. So I'm going to press Alt G, go to, and here I'm going to come here and click on this option called create master and press enter. So now we need to create one discount ledger. So I go to ledger, enter, and let's say the ledger name is trade discount. Okay. Enter. I'm going to classify this trade discount ledger under indirect expenses. Now we need to identify this particular ledger as a discount ledger. So for you to enable this option, remember you have to use F12 configuration and you have this option here which says select type of ledger to auto calculate values in the invoice mode. So basically you can use for cash and trade discount or invoice rounding of value also. Again, I have covered a separate video where I had explained about how you can set a invoice rounding of ledger so that Tally will automatically round off the ledger to the negative value of the fraction of the rupee or to the positive value of the fraction of the rupee. So you have to make sure that this option is set to yes. So come here, press Y, enter and you press Ctrl A. The moment I press Ctrl A, you will notice here 
that you have this new option called type of ledger so come here enter and you will now see the type of ledger as discount ledger and invoice rounding and by identifying this ledger as either discount ledger or invoice rounding tally will do the auto calculation in the background so we are going to see the discount ledger so identify this particular ledger as the discount ledger and then you can save this ledger master by pressing control a now i am going to press escape escape again we are in the sales voucher let us pass a sales invoice now so i come here select the party as chirag metal craft then the sales ledger i am going to select sales account and i am going to select the item so first item i am going to select dell laptop i3 enter i am going to say one number enter and now you have this additional column for discount where you can now specify the discount as per your requirement so the first box that you are seeing here is basically you can specify the percentage of the discount that you want to offer for this particular item or you can also specify a lump sum amount so first let us select the percentage let us say i want to provide 5% discount for this particular item you just type 5 enter tally will now calculate 5% discount on 45000 so enter and second item i am going to select the second item as dell laptop i5 enter and i'm going to say one number enter again it is now asking you the discount so in this case i don't want to give any percentage of discount but i want to straight away give a lump sum discount amount of 4000 enter and it's asking you for the next item so again i can select an item i7 enter one number and in this case for this item i want to give a discount of say 10 percent enter and now tally calculates 10 percent on 75,000. so this is how it helps you to have the flexibility of providing discount either percentage basis or a lump sum amount that you want and the percentage can be flexible you can decide what percentage of discount that you want to provide for the item that you are billing generally this is going to be very useful when you are billing multiple item where you would want to provide multiple discount rate or discount amount as per your requirement now you will select your discount ledger so that the discount amount of this 2250 4000 and 7500 gets reduced from the gross amount so we had created the ledger called trade discount and we also identified this ledger as a discount ledger now let us see what happens when i press enter tally will automatically add up all the individual discount that you have provided for the item it is going to add up and then it is going to reduce the total value from the gross amount so 180000 is the total value minus discount different discount amount as per your percentage and your lump sum amount tally adds up and then it is going to give you the net amount so now let us save this voucher new reference enter and accept this voucher so you have to remember that if you want these multi-level discount to be enabled you need to have this f12 configuration provide cash and trade discount to be yes supposing if this is no let us see what happens so i have made this option as no and i'm going to press ctrl a let us now raise another invoice so let's select the same party chirag metal craft then my sales ledger okay now i'm going to select the item enter i'm going to say one number enter and you will notice here the additional discount field is not getting enabled or you don't have the additional discount field to capture your discount now the same configuration is available for you when you are recording your purchase ledger also 
so let me just come back go into the voucher and let us click on purchase voucher and press F12 configure and you will see the same option here provide cash and trade discount it is already made as yes so normally this is going to be no and you can enable this make it as yes and then capture the discount as per the invoice that you have received from your vendor i hope this option of providing cash and trade discount option would be useful for you in your organization whenever you want to provide a cash or trade discount so we understood how we can configure this and make use of this option wherever it is required in your organization so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session thank you very much